I'm Leo Suzuki from Tokyo University. Today I'm talking about this topic. As you know, micro bubbles have various behaviors under the ultrasound field, such as oscillation and cavitation. Especially, cavitation has mechanical and thermal effects. These effects can induce the direct cell damage. Therefore, this system can be applied to cancer therapy and the microbubble mediated sonotherapy. Previously, we reported that intratumoral microbubble injection and ultrasound exposure showed the effective and tumor effect especially higher intensity of ultrasound induced the significant cell damage like this. In this therapy, it was expected that tumor associated antigen and damaged associated molecular patterns would be released from the damaged cells and result in activation of anti-tumor immune response. Therefore, we assessed the contribution of CD8 positive T cells in this therapy. In this case, we utilized CD8 positive T cell depleted mouse. This is the result. The anti-tumor effect was completely cancelled in this mouse. This data showed that CD8 positive T cells mainly contributed as effector cells in this antumor effect. However, in this therapy, antumor effect was not so enough Therefore, we need to improve this antumor effect. To enhance the antumor effect, it is so that the antumor immune cycle should be accelerated. For acceleration of this antumor immune cycle, we attempted to combine the dendritic cell-based immune therapy. As you know, dendritic cell is a professional antigen-presenting cell. It is expected that dendritic cells would uptake the tumor-associated antigens and prime the cellular immune response for cancer cells. Therefore, we think that the combination of microbubble mediated sonotherapy and dendritic cell based immune therapy would have a synergy effect. In this experiment, we examine the antimor effect with this combination therapy. In this case, at first, tumor tissue was treated with microbubble mediated sonotherapy. After that, dendritic cells were injected into tumor tissue on this schedule. This is the antimor effect. In this combination therapy, antimor effect was enhanced compared with only microbubble mediated sonotherapy like this. In the next experiment, we assessed the contribution of cellular immunity in this combination therapy. In the CD8 positive T cell depleted mice, antumor effect was completely cancelled like this. Therefore, it was suggested that 
ciliated positive T cells were main effector cells in this combination therapy. In the next experiment, we assess the tumor specific cellular immune response. This is the assessment method. At first, the combination therapy was performed to the Colon 26 bearing mouse. After one week of final treatment, spring cells were recovered from the mouse. These spring cells were utilized as effector cells, and these cells were co cultured with Colon 26 cells or Messe cells as target cells. Colon 26 cells were inoculated tumor cells. On the other hand, Messe cells were not inoculated cells. So, Messe cells were utilized as control cells. In this case, if tumor cell specific cellular immune response was primed, spleen cells would be activated by the co culture with colon 26 cells but not messe cells and secrete interferon gamma. In this study, we confirm the interferon gamma secreting cell with erispot assay. This is the result. In this combination therapy, Spring cells were significantly activated with colon 26 cells, but not Messe cells. It was suggested that this combination therapy could activate the tumor cell specific immune response. This is conclusion. This combination therapy could effectively activate this anti-tumor immune cycle. Therefore, this combination therapy would be an effective cancer therapy based on changing the immunological microenvironment in tumor tissue. Thank you for your attention.